Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a, a desktop computer and I wanted to show you some uh, trick just to bypass a problem and uh, be able to check the power supply. So let me show you what is the problem. I will switch to my mobile uh, camera so I can show you the desktop on the other side of the bench. So let's go. So what we have here, I don't know if you can hear me because I'm far away from the microphone. What we have here is actually a computer. Uh, this is a Dell 710 Ultra SSF. It's a small machine with a power supply. It's actually what it does. Let me show you. If I plug the power supply and I press the power button, it goes on, off, all the time, on, off, on, off. And you see? All right, let me unplug. All right. So the problem with this specific um, computer is that the power supply uh, is turning on and off the computer all the time um, and I will show you now I will stop the video in order to remove the power supply and I will show you what is the problem all right I'm back so this is the power supply this is a Dell the model number is F200 EU-00 this is a 200 watts power supply and this one has a special connector. It has a 8-pin connector and a 4-pin connector. This is a common one. All the ATX power supplies have this kind of connector. But this one is a very special one. And I don't actually have a power supply like this so I can test this machine. This power supply, though, is behaving correctly. There is a test. All Most of the... Uh, small factor machines, the Dell uh, computers, on the power supplies they have a button, a test button, so you can test it, start the power supply and measure the voltages on the, um, on the power plug here, so you can verify if the power supply is working correctly or not. But this is not 100%, even if you measure the correct voltages here, is not 100% sure that, uh, that the power supply is working uh, good, so you, you cannot 100% trust this button. So I will show you. So let's connect the power supply to the AC. Okay, we have AC. So if I switch my multimeter to DC, Let's measure the 12 volts line here. So I'm putting the black probe on the black cable here and the yellow probe here. So I, if I start the power supply, you can see the 12 volt line is present. Let's go to this adapter. We take the ground from here. Let's measure this white, which, is, which are probably 12 volts. If we start, we get 12 volts. If we leave it, the voltage goes down slowly the, because the capacitors are still charged. That's why we see 11 volts here. Let's measure the standby voltage here, which is 4.9. This is normal. And the blue wire here is the negative 12 volts. So if we start the power supply, we get negative 11.3, which is fine. And the other whites must be 12 volts. If we start again 12 volts, this one, this one 12 volts, we measure this. And the gray cable is, uh, as I recall, this is the power good signal of the power supply. All the ATX power supplies have this gray wire, which is the power good signal. So, 
according according to the common sense this power supply seems to be working fine although the computer does not start it starts it, it starts and stops starts and stops but i have no way actually to test this computer with another power supply because i don't have another power supply i have to order one of these which is difficult to find i mean i have to order from abroad in here in greece where i live I, I cannot find uh, a new one or even a, a used one in stock. So I have to order it from uh, United Kingdom or Italy where I found this specific model. So I have actually to, uh, to find a solution how to test the computer. So what I thought is we can actually create this kind of 8-pin connector and get it from a, a normal ATX 24 pin connector like this. So what I did is actually I remove the female 24 pin connector from an old motherboard. I just desolder it from the motherboard. And what I found is I, used, I found actually a cable from a modular power supply and I cut this end here. And this specific plug which goes to the power supply itself actually is the same like this one so what i'm going to do is actually follow all these wires so i know for sure by measuring that the white ones are the 12 volts line the green one is the 5 volts st um, standby the blue one is the negative 12 volts and the gray one is the power good signal so if we go to the power the atx power supply we have here the two yellow ones which are the 12 volts line we have the green one which is the 5 volts standby the blue one which is the negative 12 volts and the gray one is here which is the power good signal so what i have to do is actually follow from this connector these wires here and connect them to the appropriate order and actually create an adapter to test the computer. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's do it together. Okay, I'm back. So let's continue. So I have placed a ATX connector here, which is an extension actually. So I can have, a, I can track down the, the, the colors of the cables. So what we need is actually the yellow ones. So the yellow ones are here. It's the first one is orange. So we need this one and this one is yellow. And we're also going to need two black ones. We can take them from the middle here. So this one and this one is the black ones. We're going to need the blue one, which is the second from the left this one and we're going to need the green one which is one two three fourth from the left so i can mark them black black green blue and we're also going to need the gray one which is one two three four five from the left which is this one one two three four five this is the gray so we now know where to solder okay so let's come here i have already stripped the cables and i will tint them first
I tested my adapter and it doesn't work. And uh, I checked online and I made a mistake. Um, do you remember that we had three yellow, uh, three whites, sorry, three whites were these ones measured 12 volts. So actually the 12 volt lines are the two on the top. The other one, 12 line, is not actually a 12 line, it's actually a standby 12 line. But there is no 12 line standby on a normal ATX. Um, let me show you. So, let me show you on the web because I checked and uh, I found what is the problem uh, and we're going to fix it. Mm, how we can do that? Um, I cannot show you now. Uh, no. Anyway, uh, the purple wire on the ATX connector is a 5 volt standby. So what we actually need to do is use this 5 volt standby line, convert it to 12 volts with a boost converter and connect it to the third pin which is that corresponds to the third white pin. So we're going to desolder the three yellow ones, the two ones I soldered them together here and we're going to use a boost converter, I happen to have one of these this, so we're going to enter 5 volts here and we're going to get 12 volts on the other side. And we're going to feed it to the third connector here. Alright, so let's do it. This is the boost converter. This is the in and this is the out 12 volts. So we're going to feed the out to the 12 volts here. And we're going to get the input from it from the purple wire we're going to find the corresponding purple wire from the connector here and we're going to connect the grounds also here and I think we're finished so let's do it I tested the uh, adapter with the boost converter installed and it works. Let me show you. All right. So this is the adapter. As you can see, I have connected an external power supply here. So once I turn the power supply, what it actually does is the same reaction. It blinks on and off, on and off. So it's a problem of the motherboard and not the power supply. That's what that's my conclusion actually. So what we're going to do is uh, notify the customer that he has a motherboard problem. I might order a power supply for this to have as a spare and test it to be one hundred percent sure. Even though I think my adapter works. Uh, if you have uh, experience on this specific power supply of Dell, please leave me a comment and also let me know if my modification or the adapter I created is correct or not. Uh, I have just replaced the motherboard with a new one. This is the old motherboard and inside is the new one so 
I will test now the computer. I just finished the assembly, put everything back together, and I'm just plugging the power right now. And let's see what's happening. on yes the computer is on let's see if we have screen yes the blue light the Dell logo mm -hmm. and date and time we need to configure this and everything is back together Let's enter BIOS. All right. Let's fix the date and time. Today is 25 of May. And the time is 11 52. Yes. Exit. Yes, and the computer is loading Windows. That was the end of the video. This was a way of testing a, a power supply of this kind. See you on the next one.